Now, there was mantles and angels that was passed down from Melchizedek to Abraham. And one of those angels was the angel of sowing. Now, I want you to say, I want you to see this. When Abraham gave a tenth of everything he had in Hebrews chapter seven, verse two, that was glory sowing. You know why? Because he had never sold a tenth of everything he had into anybody. Listen, listen, listen. He did something with his money, his gold, his possessions, his livestock that he never did a day in his life. But see, the atmosphere had to be right. Melchizedek was the divine atmosphere for sowing that Abraham never partook of ever. So, so, so imagine Abraham going to church, having leaders, being in meetings, having organization present itself as Saul. But this is the first time that he's receiving the goal ahead from God to sow a tenth of everything he have into Melchizedek. What God is saying, this not no scam. <laughs> yeah, so called as Sika. I want to say it like this in the wisdom door, that it wasn't a scam. It produced a ram. Yeah. What happens is we see that Abraham uh, can now access an invisible ram. And this ram is now in the natural realm. He can see it, it but it came from the spirit. Why he didn't see that ram all along? The spirit of God picked that lamb right there supernaturally, that ram. Think about it. Now, now I just heard something. Wow. Wow. Oh, my gosh. And, and I, this will have to be another teaching because of fresh revelation. That the seed brings you into the benefits of the lamb and the ram. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Look at that here. That the seed uh, brings you into the benefits of the lamb, the ram, and the great I am. Oh, my gosh. It's after hours, but I'm full of power. It's after hours, but I'm full of power. The, the lamb, the ram. Hainsley, ain't that powerful? The ram, uh, the lamb, and the great I am. The seed brings you into these three realms. I'll talk about it uh, probably later on today. Now, Melchizedek gave Abraham a sowing anointing that he didn't carry prior. You know how we know that he didn't carry it prior? Because we don't see him doing it prior. See, sometimes, watch this, people of God, you got to know that when you're around Melchizedek, there's certain things that you couldn't do that six years ago. No, even if you had pit in your heart, I'm going to do it. You couldn't do it because there had to be an anointing placed on you for you to be able to do it. So, so Abraham needed Melchizedek to give him a transference of this sowing power. This sowing glory and these sowing angels. Because he wasn't sowing like this before. And this is a this is this is a big move because watch this here. There are certain levels of sowing that you are still a virgin to. Like you never had intimacy with that level of sowing. Oh my God. Ah yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, and, and this was the exciting thing when I started sowing. I started realizing, wow, there's certain levels of the seed that I'm a virgin to. I never experienced this type of pleasure in this seed. I, I, I know about sowing at this level. I know about sowing at the thirty dollar, the fifty dollar level, the hundred dollar level. Uh, the, but now I'm sowing at three hundred dollar. Wow! And then when you uh, a third three hundred dollar sow, God start breaking you out and breaking you in and breaking you out and, and, and twisting all about and, and, and bring you all the way. 
weighed a 700, $700 saw. Now you're 700. How the hell you went from sewing $700? There was a day we used to beg people for $700. Can I borrow $700? You went to the credit loan. Can I get $700? You went to your boss, said, I got $700 in the bank account. Did you miss my paycheck from last week? You went and asked somebody during income tax. I owe you $700, but can I pay you back in three week portal? I got, I need, but now you sewing $700. So something that happened to you, there's a mantle on you. You're not just doing it because you hear information. The information is anointed. The information is taking you into places mentally that you've never been before. You went from trying to scheme somebody for $700. Now you giving $700 to the Lord. Something done happened to you. Have you celebrated the changes in your life? If you haven't, it's a possibility you might lose what God changed. You got to celebrate your changes. You're not Simon no more. You Peter. You're not Saul no more. You Paul. Huh? Huh? Now, saints, do you know that Timothy got another name in the spirit? Guess what his next name is? And you don't you you probably missed it in the word of God. We know him as Timothy, right? But but he had another name that Apostle Paul gave to him apostolically. How many of y'all think you could guess it? Huh? What you think his name was? He had another name that's right in the Bible. Uh uh. Timothy, his other name was example. That's a good answer there. That's a good answer. But I, 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 want, I want to take you here. I want to take you here. His other name in the spirit was example. Watch, 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 watch what uh, Apostle Paul say. Be an example. <laughs> you, you, know, you know how you can be a prophet? You can be an apostle. You can be a daddy. You can be a father, a, a, a mother, a sister, a brother. Uh, you can be a Messiah. You can be a Lord. You can be a king. You can be a queen. You can be a princess. Look, he said, be an example. I, I want you to become what example means. I, I, I want example to take on you as its image. I want when example is spoken that they say, this is Timothy. This is his other identity. He, he is example. He is an example to us. Now, let's go here. So Abraham found himself doing something with the seed that he never did before. Now, I'm, I'm going to shock you. One of the other angels that was, was released upon uh, uh, Abraham from Melchizedek was the anointing for riches unlimited in the invisible economy and government. Invisible wealth that was stored up in the storehouses of God. We find it in Deuteronomy chapter 28, mind you. We find it in Deuteronomy chapter 28 that there is a storehouse in heaven. What you think that's in the storehouse? You think that your house not in store and God has a storehouse? Think about it. And now watch this. What store do you know where you can't grow shopping in? So I, I want you to catch this. Sewing is how you go shopping in the storehouse of God. Now, I want you to catch this, and this is so mighty, this angelic wisdom that I'm giving you here, this library of heaven stuff. Sewing is how you go shopping in the storehouses of God, because it's a store plus a house. And we know that the Lord Jesus said that in my father's house. So, so this house got mansions in it. It's a store. It got food in it. It's a store. It got merchandise in it. You never heard it from no preacher before. I promise you that. You go look it up on YouTube. Go look it up on Google. Go look it up on, on what? What? Fandango. Fangjangalang. Uh, go, for, go look for it on Netflix. Go look for it. Find it. Go see if you find it. You ain't going to find it nowhere. Go find it. Go find it. Netflix, uh, 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 Bible Hub, and all the other hubs, and, 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 and ribs and grubs. Uh, 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 so, 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 um, the Spirit of the Lord was showing um, Abraham how to access the deeper level of glory for harvests. 
Wow. Man, I wish somebody taught me this, this fresh stuff here. I'm about to get off of here in two minutes. He was showing him the deeper depths of how to obtain investors, the deeper depths of how to put yourself in position for favor, the deeper depths of having money coming, the deeper depths of having debt cancellation, the deeper depths of having mental elevation. So, so even though Abraham was inspired, his inspiration went to a degree that was, uh, incomparable. It was, uh, unusual. It was unique. It was one of a kind. So his mind was actually more joyful than ever. He had more peace. He had more soundness of mind. So things that used to keep him down and keep him and keep him, it couldn't keep him no more because he met the king of peace. Now, 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 let's, let's watch this here. I, I'm going to say something, and you'll never hear a preacher say this again. So I, I'm about to say it. I'm about to copyright it in the spirit. This is the last time you ever going to hear it, unless somebody steal my message. <laughs> Jesus was called the Prince of Peace in Isaiah 9. But Melchizedek is called the King of Peace. In Hebrews 7. According to title, Melchizedek carrying a position higher than 